Today we're tackling the third mission in the Japanese campaign. We are going to be using the Navy Doctrine and we'll be using the following perks right here. Let's Your go ahead and get started. Live. Gonna have to try to be mindful of matchups here, particularly, particularly flamethrower versus troops. And uh, Tanks versus flamethrower. Tanks are good versus the flamethrower. Flamethrowers are good against infantry. So something to keep in mind. And hopefully perform a few flanking the maneuvers the here. Filipinos managed to defend the island so far. On countless attempts, we failed to breach their defenses in these hills. One of our troops from a previous attack got stuck in the forest two days ago between heavy artillery barrage from the east and infantry attacks from the west. You must rescue them first. All right, let's get this flamethrower in place. And while we're doing that, we're going to take the rest of our troops, group number two, and get them going over here. I'm going to try to have the medic separate. Basically, to clear these mines, I'm just going to hold down L1, press triangle. Oops, maybe not. I'll hold down L1 to get there and then press triangle. And scatter philosophy here. Okay, we have a flamethrower, and we're going to use them in just a minute. Let's put group number three here. Uh-oh. We got problems. Let's use some smoke grenades. And let's get those medics. They're group number four, I believe. Yep. Let's get those medics over here. Oh, we're gonna attack more. So smoke grenades coming. More smoke grenades coming here. And uh, we're in a little bit of trouble. We still have one combat medic. All right, more grenades coming. Ah, wrong button. Smoke grenade. Here we go. Regular grenades coming. Got a tank hunter metal. Can we revive with the medic? If we can, we'll be okay. If not, we're in trouble. And while we're doing that, let's use some of these crew members here to take control of the tank. One, two. And we'll put the rest of them back in the flamethrower. Let's move these two over here. 
Okay, we got two medics left, so I think we're okay. We were able to take out a significant portion. Let's uh, have them stop here. And uh, let's just take care of some of these mines for later on. So the only downside about this is sometimes things just don't go according to plan. So we'll see how this works here. I think there's a heavily defended position up there. I'm going to see if I can get... I'm going to leave the tanks and stuff. I'm going to take group number five and I'm going to see if I can go around. And climb up the hill and attack this position from a different spot. I know it, it's harder to go uphill the other way. And maybe, maybe we can take the flamethrower up with it. No, we can't take the flamethrower up. So one of the challenging features about this is the terrain. So you can only have infantry go to certain places and so forth. So we're going to try to see what's over here. Oh, that may not be good. Scatter time. Oh, scatter. And maybe a smoke grenade here. Okay. Okay, good news is we're going to get a packed howitzer. Howitzer. I am going to use uh, troops from one of these. Uh, I think I can take two out of the flamethrower. I'm going to take two out of this anti-air truck. And I'm going to split them. I'm going to use two of the crew for that, for the howitzer. And they're going the wrong way. So I'm going to make them go this way. Uh oh, and we're getting attacked. You gotta pay attention at all times at this one. We're gonna scatter. And hopefully take care of this problem here. Oh, there's a few more. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna. Have this group stop, and they are going to take the howitzer again. This howitzer will be very important because we can use it for artillery support. I guess I should have done a better job of clearing that jungle out there. And while we're doing that, I'm going to unload all here. Got to let some of our troops recover here. Infantry recover, that is. Okay, we got the packed howitzer. We're going to use this. We're going to be using this group right here. Actually, group number five is the only group I've got selected there. So we're going to have them... Uh, clear out the rest of this right here. And we're going to use the uh, packed howitzer as uh, support, artillery support. So here we go forward, trying to gonna try to use better smoke grenades a little bit better here. Alright, there's a position we got to attack. And again, we've got artillery support. Looks like there's another house where we could take uh, possession of. We're smart. And we should be able to flank it. So we're going to do a couple things here by taking out uh, this position. One is we'll get possession of the howitzer. Two is we will not be attacked by the howitzer when we uh, attack this position right here. And we didn't get the howitzer, but that's that's fine. That's fine. 
We're going to move our troops forward to here, and we're going to move our howitzer forward uh, to right over here. And the next uh, thing we're going to attack is this spot right here. Okay, let's move these tanks forward. We're going to attack this position over here. And we're going to move our... Now maybe we're not going to... We're going to attack by someone here. I'm just going to scatter them out. Okay. And then we're going to attack it. Okay, we're going to flamethrower going here. So group number five is going to use smoke grenades for cover. And group number five is going to attack this position as well. There we go. Safely did that one. That's a well defended position if you take it on from the wrong uh, angle. So we are going to uh, see. Take possession of the howitzer here. At some point. Air. So we got a pillager metal. I'd like to get control of the gun, but I'm not going to do that. All right, so I'm going to unfortify here. And I got a medic in that, so that's not good. So we're going to take them out. And I'm going to use, let's see, Rifleman. And let's see who else I want. Maybe an officer. I'll use an officer. And we're going to put them in this control of the house or, or anti-tank gun. That's an anti-tank gun. Uh, you know what? I don't think we need to control the anti-tank gun. I prefer the howitzers. For some reason, I was thinking it was a howitzer. It's not. So, back to group number five. Let's clear out what we can and get back to the first part of the mission, which is protecting these troops right here and defending the hill. And the good news is we will have... Did we lose our flamethrower? We did. Uh oh, that's bad. We lost our flame. No, we didn't lose our flamethrower. We lost one of these. Okay. Anti air trucks, which is fine. Okay, now let's start shelling, and we're going to go ahead and send our troops to the, this position right here. Well done. Scouts report that a large infantry force has taken up a defensive position in the village to the west, supported by AT shells and a lot of demolition. And of course, we're going to take as much control of the trench as possible. You must capture the village, Commander. Otherwise, we won't be able to send tanks to the upcoming. And then use our medic to revive some of these soldiers. More air support is available. Use it well. You are being and we're going to attack from artillery. all kinds of spots. So we're going to okay. use the smoke grenades. Just to try to disguise our position and force it forward so they can get within firing range. And that part is successful. Operation boundaries are extended. And it looks like we got a couple uh, ground attacks as well, if we want them. Okay. Now uh, we're going to basically unload all, and we're going to pick up the two machine guns, I believe. Let's see if I can do that here. Nope. I guess we don't have to.
And what we're going to do is we're going to try to use our infantry. We have them stand up to clear out as much stuff as possible. The next part of the objective is basically to take out this position right here. But there's a lot of other stuff going on. We've also got some reinforcements here. Maybe doing a two-pronged part of the mission here. So let's just take one thing at a time here. Here's a spot we can attack. Let's see if we can hit these barrels. I kind of still want to hit the barrels. There comes a tank. Uh oh, that's fine. Got a tank hunter metal, so that's good. And we're going to send our troops up this way. And we're going to group them all as group number two. I think there is a heavily defended position over here. We're going to see if we can flank it. And we're going to see if we can, what, we, what else we can clear out as well. That way, when we prepare for our heavy attacks, oh, we don't have any surprises. Uh, like the surprise right here. As you can see, this jungle is heavily... Got a lot of troops in here. Now our group does have mortars with it. We're going to try to protect this group. We have more infantry coming. Like I said, in another spot. Yep, we're going to attack from multiple spots. Let's push our infantry forward here and see what we can take out. And maybe use some smoke grenades for cover. attack from another spot. I'd like to have these troops recover or regroup at some point. I think we're still getting attacked here. Let's just make sure we got everything. I'm going to have them regroup at the uh, very top of this hill, and while they're doing that, I'm going to work the other ones in place here. I'm going to have them all consolidate to a point in barring getting destroyed by the tank. Let's uh, focus on the other part of these groups here. We're gonna uh, put the tanks and stuff all together and the repair vehicles as well. Oh, no one to have the transport vehicle there. We got another artillery piece, which is good. And yeah, I'm gonna have these all go, I'm gonna group them all as one group. I'm gonna have them go this way. Uh-oh. Oops. Did I? Oh, no. That's bad. Pause. I did something wrong here. Basically, okay, so this is going to be one group here. I'm going to select all of these. Hold on now. One, make them one group. I had the tanks as part of a separate group, so that's not good. Now they're part of group number three. So tanks are going to go this way. And over here... So they're going to meet up with this uh, howitzer and stuff. I think we're going to use this howitzer for support here. So I'm going to move these up to about right here. I don't want to move them too far forward. We're going to be attacking this position mainly with infantry. And I'm going to unload all the passengers here. So the transport vehicle is going to go meet up with these tanks and stuff. We're going to let this group... Uh, we cover here. They should be covered shortly. And then I'm going to make this a separate group. So they're going to be group number two, I believe. And their job is going to be to clear out this side. There is a packed howitzer I'd like to get possession of. It's way in the corner right back here. This rant is smart. I think there are some uh, mines we did not take out yet. Actually, we should be okay, because we're not going to have to worry about those mines, because we're sending all our troops 
to the you north part, so I don't have to worry about clearing out those mines. I am going to clear okay. out as many troops as possible from the jungle with the idea of trying to get three stars. And like like I said earlier, at some point we're going to have we're going to be pressed for time after we complete this next objective. So we've got time to clear out the rest. We're going to do that after we complete this next objective. We're going to not have time. So here's the position here. We're going to scatter. Oh, nope. They must have moved those troops. But the good news is we can use... Uh oh we get attacked. you don't use this heavy, heavy piece here, this cannon, we do not want to lose possession of this cannon here. So we're going to put the cannon down right here. We're going to use that for artillery support, obviously. I'm going to untow that. And while we're doing that, I'm going to take two into possession here. Let's see, I'm going to use a sub. And an officer, submachine gunner, an officer, and have him take control of this pack. Howitzer here. And we're just going to move everyone over to here. And we'll keep them here for now. I'm going to scatter them out. Just in case, actually, yeah, just in case something weird happens. And while we're doing that, we gotta we gotta attack this heavy position, heavy heavily defended position from multiple sides. But before we do that, we're gonna clear out a bunch of other stuff here. So we've got these troops here. We've got oh, that's another howitzer. I didn't see that. Okay, I'm gonna use some tank tank troops here. So I'm gonna unload all here, and I'm gonna take two of these troops. And put them in control of the howitzer. That way I can use maximize the infantry here. And I'm gonna group all these tanks and stuff together as well. So all of these tanks and howitzer are gonna be well, minus these two troops here. Hold down L1, and I'm simply gonna press in R3. And I think there was a or we'll, we'll just go with that for now. So these two right here are going to go forward. And they're going to take possession of the howitzer. So we'll have artillery support on two spots. And we'll be able to hopefully overrun the spot here. So group number one is going to start attacking. So here we go, smoke grenade. Another smoke grenade here. Yep. That's what we don't want. There's some long range artillery piece over here. We gotta attack it fast. Okay. We can take possession of that at some point. That's another howitzer. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm going to flank to uh, anti tank cannons, I believe. Oh, we got one of them. Okay, and there's uh, another position over here. Get some metals. Let's see what else. There's always something hidden. So we're just going to keep our troops going forward here, and we will take possession of this howitzer at some point. If you take it head on, it's just not good. So we are going to take possession. We're going to take this anti-tank gun, and then we're going to untake it. We're just trying to get a metal here. There we go. And then we're going to unload all. And then, of course, we're going to use two crew members from one of these vehicles here. 
to take possession of the howitzer. So they're going back there. And then these two crew members are going to go right here to take possession of the howitzer, which will be very important for artillery support. And I'm going to go back to group number four here. And I'm going to select them to become group number three. We're going to take this howitzer and we're going to put them all in position here. We're going to be attacking this from multiple spots. So this howitzer is going to go down as well. I try to get him over here. And then while we're doing that, I'm going to take group number one and just have them. Oops. This house is going to go over here as well. And while we're doing that, I'm going to have group number one just clear out anything that may be lurking in the forest or the jungle, so to speak. So, so far, so good. Uh-oh. Was there... Oh, it's mined. Oh, boy. That's not good. We hit a mine. Didn't catch that. And we hit another mine. Oh, boy. That was bad. Bad sequence there. We lost two valuable pieces. Uh, bad, bad decision making on my part. Sorry about that. We'll put these crew members back. Yeah, you gotta watch out for mines, I guess. You probably should use your troops to clear that out. Okay. We didn't lose, we lost two pieces, but we still have, uh, we didn't lose any soldiers there, so I guess. We'll move on there. We lost two valuable pieces. So far, so good. Oh, there's a big kind of position. Let's use smoke grenades here. Oh, good. We get we get another house. Here. That would be good. Or tank kind of metal one of the two. Machine gun nest. Let's uh, go there. The pillager metal. And I'm gonna send two crew members to take possession of this howitzer. We're gonna use that. We're gonna use two crew members uh, from here, I believe. So unload all, we select one and two, and then put them back here. And then group number three, I'm going to select the control pad, now L1, and then press in R3, make group number four. These two will go this way, and they're going to take possession of this howitzer, I believe. Well, we're doing that. Group number one. Gonna unload all. And uh, go this way. So when we attack, we should have a uh, howitzer for support. So that'll be good. Especially since we lost two pieces. Early on, I'm gonna have these ones here. This way. So cool, we got a pillager metal there. And we are going to unfortify.
All right, this next possession here is heavily guarded. I think we can have our troops go this way. We have a couple howitzers here. What I'd like to do is get these pieces in place for group number two as well. And I think it's going to be it's going to be a two part thing here. I'm going to have group number two is not going to be the howitzer here. So I'm going to group them as group number three. The answer is going to be separate. So I'm going to send this group over here to attack this spot. And But I'm not going to do it yet. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this howitzer go here. So we can attack this position from multiple spots. And we're going to bring, yeah, we're just going to bring group number one uh, attacking here to get any uh, artillery pieces out of, way, out of the way. So there you go. Maybe get the victory thing. I think I should go to scatter philosophy. Maybe. We just look at it. So there we are. We're attacking the position for the most vulnerable spot. This is heavily defended. These guns, these artillery pieces, yeah. A bunch of pack houses there. Heavily defended. We don't want to take major losses here. Okay, and while we're doing that, so we've taken out the uh, artillery pieces. We are going to send group number three uh, this way. And it should be much easier. Yeah, now we can uh, flank. Now we can put the squeeze on. So Oops. Okay. And, uh, let's see, we're going to use smoke grenades here. I think, I'm going to wait, I'm going to see if I use a combat medic. So, in good shape so far. Three's going to move forward. We're going to let our medics do their work here. Uh-oh. Well, maybe not. Let's use a first aid. So, okay. Now we're going to take possession of some of these just to get medals here. And then we're going to unload them all. Pillager metal there. Okay. And hopefully improve our chances of getting three stars. I don't want these okay. anti-tank guns. I do want the howitzers. I value the long-range artillery support. So, while we're doing that, we're going to unload all. And there is a howitzer. We're going to use crew members to take possession of that. Uh, we're, going, we're going to re- Uses supply depot here to reload our troops and stuff. So I've got group number four right here. I think I'm going to have this cannon towed. And i got to be smart. There's a lot of mines in place. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use some troops from one of these uh, tanks. This, this flamethrower right here has got four. Let's see. This tank right here has got three. Oh, really want well, they all got three there. This one's got four. We're going to unload all there. One, two. Got to put two back in and then use two to take possession of that house. And get a medal, of course, but more importantly, we want to get that artillery piece. And then these ones should... I'm going to group these all as one group now. It should be in decent shape here. We've got a howitzer here. We're going to get all our stuff together and eventually attack this position. Once we take out this position, we're going to be rushed for time. 
So, our goal right now is just to clear out as many of these mines as possible. That way we won't lose. Yeah. So we don't want to lose uh, our vehicles and stuff like that. So, it's heavily mined. We're going to just try to clear out what we can see here. Oh, there's another mine right there. I didn't even see that. I've got the 4K. Another mine, mine. Let's see, there's a mine on this there. Yeah. Yeah, so I got a 4K and. This game's pretty sweet in the 4K, though. I guess I could do the zoom in feature. So, mine there. And uh, we can. Yeah, we're going to take possession of that. Just get a pillager metal. And we're going to load all, of course. Oops. Okay. So this group right here is going to do some advanced scouting work in the desert, or not the desert, in the jungle. The goal is going to be to take out mines and stuff like that. And see what we can do while we're doing that. We're going to get these howitzers and stuff over here. So we got this in tow. I think we can get all of this group over here. So we're going to merge, get all this group over here, and we'll have group number five uh, do some work. Clearing out what, what may be over here. Now I think there's a few defensive positions that we may be able to try to flank and stuff like that as well. See, we can go on this side? Yeah, I think we can go on this side of the mountain. We're not going to attack this position head on yet. We're going to make sure that we can get our vehicles and stuff through here. Yep. So there we go. Artillery, and we're going to take the anti tank gun, but I don't think I want it. So I'm going to load all. And load all. There we go. Group number five is just going to make sure we clear out. I think there were mines here. Oh, there's mines right here. These mines are. Yeah. Oops, wrong button. The other option to clear out mines is to just throw a grenade. And do that. I think we've got... That was the position. Okay, we're going to consolidate to right here. Now the question is, I think we should attack... What I think we should do is attack this from multiple fronts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... All of the infantry in a position over here somewhere. And I'm going to use the armored vehicles to attack from here with uh, long range artillery support. So we're going to get these going over here. Yeah, we should get all these pieces over here. For now, to try to be smart. And I think there's another piece. Oh, do we didn't. Oh, we still have this cannon, anti tank cannon. Going to unload all. And we're going to put them in with group number... I think this is group number one. Oh, they're separate, I believe. So 
So we've got all our pieces in place here. The most valuable are the artillery. And I think, well, the flame, they're all valuable. So this group, I'm going to select again and then press in R3. They'll become group number three. And we're going to get them to do some uh, scouting here. I think there's a position. There may be some anti, there may be some artillery and stuff over here. Okay, there's more. Uh, Let's use the scatter philosophy there. Yep. There's some guns there. Some smoke grenades. Which guns are these? You can attack ground. Put the tank under metal, hopefully. The mortar's coming. And that should do it there. Okay. We're going to back up here. We don't want to confront them head on yet. And stand up. Okay, so we're going to consolidate them to here. And we will use them, but we're going to try to use them smartly. I'm going to try to consolidate them right here. And we're going to be attacking uh, from multiple fronts in just a minute here. All right, going to move these troops here. And again, we're going to attack from the north. That's the plan. We're going to move this uh, gun into range, too, just in case. Maybe get it down to about right here. That might be good. We're going to attack uh, two different ways. We're going to attack with these troops here. We're going to take out the artillery pieces. And then while we're doing that, we're going to simultaneously attack. And the, the battle will start. I'm going to pause here. We're going to simultaneously attack with these uh, pieces right here. Uh, and you're going to have to, or what I'm going to have to do here is make them, command them, use the circle button. Don't use the attack move, otherwise they're going to get bogged down in fighting. And we want them to go to a certain spot where they can uh, maximize their advantage. Basically, we want, uh, this is a light tank, sorry. Light tank is actually going to go over to here. I'm going to use a triangle feature on that. I'm going to make these flamethrowers go all the way to the trenches. They're a really good matchup against troops in the trench. I'm going to make this one, this tank, go all the way. And some of the other ones, I'm just going to have them, uh, like these two right here. We're going to have, I'm going to make them go up to here. So they're not going to stop. Because if you command them, use the attack move feature, what happens basically is they they will start fighting uh, whenever they encounter stuff. And we don't necessarily want that to happen here. So I'm going to command this tank over to here. They'll still fight. They just won't, uh, they won't stop. You don't want them to stop. And so sometimes, sometimes you have to have them stop. This, this one, I'm going to use the triangle feature. And uh, this large cannon piece. Well, uh, the good news is we got some troops here. So we're going to unload all. Okay. And we're going to send these troops over to here. And there's a couple of mortars, I believe, in there. So, yeah, we're going to send them over to there. And we're just not going to use this cannon here. Uh, the battle is kind of taking place here. I think this one has decent range. Does this one? Let me see what the range is on this uh, gun here. Attack ground. Oh no, not enough range yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this can this uh, pack howitzer. We're just going to have it go this way. Up to about right here. 
that's as far as they're gonna go. Now there's a lot of mines we have to take out later, but we're gonna do that. Uh, probably should have done that now. Uh, but we've already engaged. We've already engaged. So here we go. We get a tank hunter metal, and we're gonna take uh, control of this packed howitzer. Got a pillager metal there, and while we're doing that, it's gonna be grenades. So the good news is we're drawing away. The bad news is we need to scatter. So I'm going to use these. Well, I'm going to unfortify first. Now we can use the scatter. We need to scatter. Otherwise, these tanks are going to be a bad matchup for us. And we also need to use more smoke grenades here. And while we're doing that, we should, we're getting uh, support from our flamethrowers right there. So it should take out most of the ones in the trench. And, uh, yeah, I think we can get this done. So we got a tank hunter metal. That's good. Oops, I don't want to do that. I want to use as many smoke grenades as possible here. So we're going to draw the tanks the other way. And now we can start attacking them uh, with grenades here. We're going to see get some combat medics medals as well. All right, we're starting to lose troops. I'm going to use the first aid. Let's see if we get another tank hunter metal here. Back stepper metal. HQ has just received a report that the enemy is extracting Okay, so that part is done. Quick, intercept the convoy commander. We are going to extend the boundary shortly. The and while they're doing that, I got to use some uh, troops. So I'm going to abandon this tank here. Grab every asset I'm going to take to you all of them and put them in this gun that we had earlier. Their I thought we had a gun here. Hey, you I guess not. Okay. Reinforcements arrive. We'll put them back in. Okay, I'm going to pause it here. We got to hurry. We need to get rid of a bunch of units quickly. So I'm going to use these reinforcements here. And I'm going to have them all go uh, to this spot right here. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to take group number five, or three, sorry. And I'm going to have them refuel right here. I'm going to hold down L2, and then these uh, four Not tanks right here, I'm going to individually select them. I'm going to have them take a different route. I'm going to make them go, I'm going to hold down L1, make them go here. And then make them go this way. And the reason I'm going to do that is because... I don't want them running through a bunch of mines. So there's, there's a lot of mines that need to be cleared at some point. And we'll get them to right here. Okay, so we got this piece right here. We're going to tell, we're going to put it into position right here, I believe. And then these cannons and stuff that we didn't use last time. That's fine. We're going to send them over, over to here. Oops. Oops. And then we're going to get this uh, howitzer piece over here as well. And then while we're doing that, we're going to use these riflemen and put them in place over here to thwart off any attacks and stuff we might get. So taking control of route number three, and we're going to make them all stand up. 
And then while we're doing that, we're going to uh, refuel some of these tanks here. Alright, group number three we have control of. Let's send them off. Uh-oh. We lost. Yeah, that was the problem I was worried about. We're going to use scatter philosophy here. So group number three. Let's take out these mines here. So it's not totally bad. We have an opportunity to get some medals with the medics. We have another group of soldiers we're sending that way. So we need to hurry, though. We need to hurry. In fact, we're going to stop these ones right here. And we're going to stop this repair truck as well. We need to take out these mines ASAP. And I'm not sure what other mines may be here, so I'm just going to randomly throw grenades. Alright, going to use the pause feature here and figure out... i got to figure out what i got going on here. So, I've got... I am going to not have these tanks be part of the group here. Same with this. And I'm going to add some of these soldiers right here. So the plan is going to be to take all of these soldiers. Get these. Well, all the ones that I can, that is. And get them over to here. Group them together. And we're going to take them over to here. And I'm going to try to go around through... Well, there's stone here. We're going to try to go around the stone and go through the high ground. And cut off... The troops take out, we got to take out the anti-air guns. If we can do that, uh, we should be in decent shape. If we can't, we're going to have some problems here. And while we're doing that, we're going to send all these, uh, oops. Well, let's see, we at, at, at X to unpause it. We still have air support, but the problem is there's anti-air guns in place, so that could be a problem for us. And we also need to take possession of this. Yeah, I'm just going to send a submachine gunner here. We need this uh, battalion gun to take possession, or pack houser, sorry. I keep calling it the wrong thing. I apologize. Okay, so we're going to select all of these right here. The mines are out of the way, so they can go here as well. We're at two stars. If we can keep our losses down, it's possible we can go to three. We'll see. So we got group number one. We're going to attack aggressively. Smoke grenades. Smoke grenades. And more smoke grenades. And we got to see if we can flank these uh, entrenched position. We're going to take this out here. Some more smoke grenades coming. Again, we got a bad matchup here, but we're kind of funneled into... This is a good defensive position. All right, we're past him. That's important. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that a flamethrower? That's one of our flamethrowers. Okay. Some more smoke grenades coming. He just went through our smoke grenade. Okay. So I have got to figure out here. I'm going to pause it. I think there's a medic here in the mortar. I think, you know what, I'm not sure. So I'm going to use first aid because I'm going to need that mortar right away. I'm going to get this cannon to about right here. And then I'm going to undo that. And we're going to take the rest of the stuff and make sure it goes where it's supposed to go. And as soon as we get the anti-aircraft out, I will use, let's see, packed housers. Yeah. So I'm going to get these in place over here. I'm going to use first aid. Just because it's the end of the mission. And what do we have here? Oh, we got more tanks. We haven't, they haven't gone anywhere. Okay, so these tanks need to go somewhere. So they are going to go right here. Alright, and let's see. Oh, what else do we have? Oh, well, this group's going where it's supposed to go. And then we've got other troops over here. 
we are going to randomly just send them right here. And I'm going to take control of group number one again. And we're going to work one along the side here with smoke grenades for cover. We're going to try to work one around as fast as we can. We need to go faster here. So smoke grenades. Smoke grenades. Uh-oh. There's falls here. I am going to use the first aid feature. And we're just going to use more smoke grenades. We need to hurry. We can't let 30 units through, so we got to stop them. We're going to get our troops in place right here. There's a batch that escaped right there, so that's not good, but we still have a chance to get three stars as long as we don't take a bunch of, a ton of damage here. And I'm going to see if I can use first aid again. Nope, can't use it there. Okay, so taking control of the one. Got a tank hunter metal, so that's good. Again, the more losses you take, the worse. So, I'm going to command them to go this way. And we're going to use first aid. And we're going to try to use some smoke grenades here. Take out the anti-air gun there. Okay, I think we took out enough anti-air guns, so what we're going to do next is I'm going to use air support. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so that air gun is taken out. We're going to take out this anti air gun right here. You fought with great honor. There are still some enemy defenses left in the sector. So capture the remaining villages, Commander. Okay, so I need to use the first aid again. And probably some smoke grenades here. Got conclusive Victor. Oh, nice. These are some good weapons here. One of the villages is a secured star. We need the pack howitzer there. Two pack howitzers. Okay. All right, got a pillager metal. Let's see if we got a medic here. We don't have any medics left. Did we use them up? We did. We don't have a medic left, do we? We do have one medic, okay. So let's send our medic over here and see what we can recover. And while we're doing that, we're going to take these two pack howitzers and unfortify there. We're still at two stars, but we have another position we can take out. And there's another, is that, those are howitzers, okay. So I'm going to use two from this, no, not this tank. Let's see, which tank do we have here? This tank's got five, I'm going to unload all there. Put two in here and then put the rest back. And we're going to try to rely on infantry and howitzers. So infantry and artillery, basically. Uh, for this next phase right here. So I'm going to try to get all these pieces in place here. And I never used this cannon, so we're going to take this cannon over here. I may not even be using any tanks here. I think that that might be the plan, so. In fact, you know what? I'm going to take these... Hold on a second here. I'm going to take these two howitzers right here, and I'm going to unload all... And I'm going to have group number one go over here. What's left of group number one? 
And we're just gonna use, yeah, we're gonna use the uh, tanks. Soldiers unload all. Gonna switch into the howitzers. And use artillery support and then have an infantry attack here. So these two are going right here. Okay, we're gonna get this cannon a little bit closer. I want to make sure we have it in range. And the soldier right here, rifleman's going over right there. I may just abandon it all. I'm strongly considering that option here. Oh, we got some soldiers left. Let's just send them over here. And I think there's one more piece we left back here, right? Oh, this howitzer. Yeah, so let's, uh, we're going to send this howitzer over to here. It might not even be left by the time we're done. And then this pack howitzer only has one troop in it. Uh, we're just going to take the troop out of it. We won't use the howitzer. We'll just unload all. The machine gunner is more valuable. We're going to send him over here. And then we're going to send him to the village. We may have it all taken care of by then. Alright, let's see. This pack howitzer needs to get in position, so we're going to put him over here. Can we get one of these in the woods? Let's see. Or the, I keep calling it woods. In the forest? No, we can't. Up to, up to about right there. Alright. Move forward a little bit more, and then we're going to... Alright, gun should be in place. We're going to untow it there. And I'm going to take... Let's see, what do we have left here? I'm just going to take all these... Yeah, the ones that are left, we're just going to unload all. And we're going to use infantry here. So I'm just going to use a bunch of infantry and hope that this works. This howitzer is going to be in this spot right here. Okay, so gonna deselect there, deselect there, and then I'm just gonna press uh, R3. All right, group number two, and then of course we want to unload all. All right, let's send them. Looks like we got a chance to get a medic there. So one anti-air down. Okay. There. okay. So far so good. That's the artillery pieces we want to take out. We take them out. Let's take these tanks out here. We should be using smoke grenades as well. That way we're not in the dispersion range of uh, tank shells. More smoke grenades coming. Okay, we're at three stars right now. So we gotta be smart in not taking huge losses here. We are gonna be attacking these tanks. We could lose three stars right here. We could. First aid there, got some smoke grenades. An astounding job, soldiers. You managed and okay, to one tank is gone, that's good. The okay, they surrendered. Rest now. That's good, did we get it? I think when we got it. Reinforcements arrive, we'll be advancing on the heart of the island. Another pillager medal there. Okay, okay. Looking good, looking good. Got it done. Whew. Yeah, you can actually have three stars, and if you take losses, they can drop to two. But uh, anyway, this is an idea of how many medals we had. It looks like we had a bunch of tank hunter medals, uh, 19 and four gold ones. Pillager, we got a ton of pillager. Well, 18 pillager and two silver pillager. 24 combat medic ones, and then you have to revive three for that. We got the backstabber one, where you destroy tanks from behind. Some good tactics there. Only one dead eye. Only one dead eye. Inclusive eviction. That's where you 
take them out of a house, but you don't take out the house. So you shoot all the occupants in the house, so that's that. So yeah, and then there's the data on uh, losses versus uh, damage dealt. You can see we lost 95 infantry. We only destroyed 463, so not the greatest, especially toward the end, but uh, got it done, got three stars. And that, that's the idea, to try to give you a template of how to get three stars for yourself as well. Uh, thanks again for watching, and if you're looking for more Sudden Strike 4, uh, just click on the link in the description below to a playlist called Sudden Strike 4. Thanks again for watching, and good luck.